So for this session, we're going through the various test cases um, for Rapid7 inside VM. All right, um, so these are the various assets we have within our lab. So we have the gateway, we have the Active Directory, we have the Windows Server, and the exploitable uh, Linux machine. Then we have the Rapid7 server and also two window 10 systems um, within uh, our, our network All right so these are the um, success criteria so the first we'll be going through is um, to perform a credential vulnerability scan against a sample assets right within our network All right so uh, going to our seven server login Yeah. So, okay. So I'm trying to fresh platform. Okay. So guys, you are logging in to the so guys. This is the Rapid Seven platform, right? Um, so this is these are the various um, features on the Rapid Seven platform. We, we have the home. This is where we currently have that, that displays the rigs and assets over time. If we scroll down, we can also see details around the sites we've created, right? Then also we can see um, current scan for all sites. If there's any active scan, there's no, we don't have any active scan at the moment. You can also see assets groups and assets tags. That are created so asset groups are created we can we can create either a dynamic asset group or we can create uh, a static asset group right so basically they are used for um, to group assets and this will really help us during reporting you can see so and also we have asset tags you know so asset tags can be done. There are different types of asset tags. We have it's based on location, based on uh, criticality, right? So also we have the dashboard, right? We have the dashboard. So the dashboard is displays results from uh, scans. You can get results from scan to show the status of um, um, our network, the vulnerabilities uh, posture of our network, right? So we can see this is a, an executive dashboard. You can come here to create new dashboard. By default, you can come here to see the default dashboard, right? So this is the default dashboard that shows assets by operating systems. It shows the, the uh, the vulnerability posture on, of our network, you know, by giving us various reports on the assets that are connected on the network. You can see we have um, asset by authentication status and total assets trained, you know, and these are all um, customizable. You can come here to add card, you know, to add more, uh, to add the, uh, more, more queries to add more queries to the dashboard. You can see there are different cards. It is called cards. You know, they can um, give us more insights into the various vulnerability uh, scans that, that was carried out on, on the network, right? So, 
So we have the home dashboard. We also have the assets, right? So on the asset page, it gives us, this is where we are able to view all the assets that was discovered, you know, by the Rapid7 uh, discovery scan, right? Or during a, during a vulnerability scan, assets that was discovered on our network, you know, based on IP range that was specified, you know, so we are also able to see, the, like, like I said, the asset status, asset by operating systems. You can see Microsoft, you have Cisco um, OS, you have an Ubuntu, right? As an uh, expressible asset by skill level, this is also um, part, part of what we can get on the assets. You can see assets that are scanned, scanned, um, these are the assets that was discovered during the scanning, right? Uh, we can see the last time, last uh, the date of the last scan that was done, assessed. You can see the status that it was assessed. The risk level, vulnerability discovered. We can see um, if this this shows if there are exploits. If uh, we have met metasploitable. Um, exploits available for this vulnerability that was discovered. You can also see malware kits. If there are malware kits available that can exploit that vulnerability, right? Okay. So these are the operating systems that's, that we have discovered, you know, uh, the vendors, you can see the vendors here. You can see the architecture, this is 64 that's to be it shows us there and see the softwares that are running on those um assets right that's we discovered you can see a lot we have about uh, over 626 assets that we discovered you can, you can come here to to view all So also services, we have about that seven, uh, sorry, okay, yeah, that seven services that was discovered, you know, during the scan, running on those assets, right? So this is what we can, can gather during, uh, when, from the asset um, tab, we can also come here to filter if we want to filter for specific assets, you know, two sites we discovered. So, so we're just trying to go through basically um, um, the various features that we have on the RAP7 Insight VM platform before we go on, to, go on with our test cases. So guys, Okay, so from the filter asset search that we clicked right here, you can see we can select um, assets name. We can filter based on assets name. Let's say Windows. You can see, uh, sorry, that's not an asset name. Uh, we can filter based on, uh, if you want to filter based on uh, operating system. So you can, Windows, right? You can see this. This is we are trying to filter just, for example, only the window operating system, and from here we can, you know, create an asset group or add tags to them, you know. So, and um, after creating an asset group, then we can include that particular asset group on the scan. We can go on to scan um, for assets, you know. That that was uh, that are listed on the assets group that we just created. All right, so that is how the filter assets search works. So on we have the next is the vulnerabilities. So after scanning is carried out, um, if we want to get more insights on the vulnerabilities that that, that we discovered, we come on to the vulnerability uh, future. Um, tab here, you can see 
exploitable by skill set, can see vulnerabilities by CVSS score, right? Right, so you can go on to explore more details on, on this, you know? So this is also where we can, we can search, can run a search, right? To search based on maybe Rick's um, CVSS score, site name or Rick's level, right? Um, also on the create tab here, if you want to create a new asset group, create a dynamic asset group report, site or tab, come, come on to click on the create tab. This is where we can also search for specific um, asset, right? You can search for specific assets. This is a help menu. This is um, the admin user currently logged in as the admin user. This is how you can log out, right? So um, go on to see the next part, which is remediation projects. The next feature is remediation projects. So after running a scan, right? Remediation project is a workflow that helps us um, to remediate, um, help helps us to remediate uh, vulnerabilities that we discovered, you know, after a scan was carried out. So on the remediation project, you have the opportunity to assign a remediation tax to, you know, to um, a department or list of users or even an external email address, right? So that they can go and carry out the remediation process okay so just a minute so um you can see the remediation project you can see goals and sla here we can set a specific sla for um for certain vulnerabilities then we have what we call automation right then we have automation projects to uh, automate automation automated action sorry Automated action uh, on the side. Mm. Okay. It's a minute still loading up. Yeah. Okay, so we have the automated action on the side. Auto yeah, automated action. So what it does is the automated action is to say, okay, um, if a particular asset was discovered, what sort of action should be carried out if you want um, scanning should be done immediately on it, right? Or if um, if an, uh, an IP address was discovered, you know, in, that was not included um, earlier in a particular scan, if it was discovered and you want to carry out an uh, scan immediately it was discovered you can use the automated action you know to basically automate processes and we have policies policies contains um, um standardized uh policies that are used to checkmates against assets you know in, in to ensure compliance you know basically um it is it is these are policies that are used to uh, you know during the um, scanning process to checkmate against operating systems, you know, and um, assets on your network in, in, to check if they are compliant, right? So we can see different policies ranging from CIS. Uh, we can also see policies ranging from. Uh, so we're trying to scroll down. FTI. TSS policies. Yeah, so apart from TIS, we also have other policies as you can see. USGCB, we also have, uh, uh, I think I've seen some other policies aside from these two. Yeah, we'll come back to that. So, uh, next thing we have the reporting, which is very critical. Yeah, reporting is carried out, right? After a scan is completed, to see maybe top, then uh, risk call reporting, executive uh, reports, want to see audit report. 
you know, to drill down on details of the vulnerabilities that we have discovered on assets. See, we can come here to create reports, can view reports that we created. You can see these are reports that we created. Uh, then you can create new report, you know, manage reports templates. So when it comes to create report, you can see around the various templates, we have several templates, like I said, audit report, executive overview, high strict vulnerability, you know. So these are various templates that are available. And also we can see PCI DSS uh, report, you know, we can also see uh, report card, risk score, risk score card, remediation plan, you know, top 10 assets by vulnerability. So basically this gives us a wide range of details of the vulnerabilities that we have discovered. Uh, so, uh, so we have containers, then we have cloud configurations. We also have um, administration. This is where we'll carry out various stacks, various stacks like um, creating custom uh, scan template, right? You can see you can create a scan template. You know, we can create uh, an engine scan engine to uh, create a, a blackout uh, can schedule a blackout to circuit for this duration of for this period of time scanning should not be done you know so that it doesn't affect the performance of, of assets within the network right so we can come here to also um, configure certain settings that is relating to security console so also for troubleshooting, if you want to run diagnose, to diagnose and troubleshoot issues, you know, so we can do a lot from the admin, administration uh, page, right? Do a lot from the administration.